it is funny. You're an idiot. <laughs> and even if someone did think a dog got an award, who cares? New York Times have gone after Donald Trump for a meme. No, this isn't a repeat of the CNN uh, Donald Trump WWE meme. This is real life. And they even tried to get the guy who was photoshopped out of it to bad talk Trump. Because why not, you guys? This is where we are in 2019. Welcome back to Andrew Says. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. It's a rainy October 31st. It's Halloween. Yes, we still celebrate Halloween here in Latvia and uh, Lithuania and all the places I'm present. Hit me up on Patreon. We're going to drop some exclusive interviews on there this weekend. So if you sign up for that, just a dollar a month, you can get to see my feet pictures as well as exclusive interviews. Feet pictures may or may not be there when you sign up. So the other day I was reminded of NBC's famous fact check from the Clinton emails. Um, you know the one about Clinton bleaching her emails? They said she didn't use acid. It was actually a computer program, you guys. And... That was the beginning of the end for all of us. Then you add in uh, this week where Washington Post called the ISIS leader austere. And everybody made fun of them for... A lot of people were doing it, saying how not harmful the ISIS leader was. Didn't want to mention that he was the leader of ISIS. And that leads us to this day. And we have to deal with the New York Times fact-checking of Photoshop. It's really, it's really some outrageous stuff. You've probably seen this dog. Trump posted it. Um, he posted the picture saying it was the dog that helped catch the ISIS leader and then everybody set, posted about it and said he's a good boy, we're all happy, we got to post things about dogs, which is all everybody really wants. Then Daily Wire had the audacity, they had the audacity to post this. And Trump dared to share it, he dared to share this Photoshop of him putting a Medal of Honor on a dog. A photo that is obviously just using the original photo of the dog, mind you. I mean, it's... They don't have multiple angles of this talk. But I guess since they were giving out medals that day that some people, I don't know, did they actually think that the dog was getting a medal of honor? Would it be a bad thing if it turned out that he did or if you were wrong about that, he, the dog not getting one? It's insane. So the New York Times, who is so reputable and needs to make Trump look bad so badly because their bias overwhelms their being, and report, they always report facts first, unless we're talking about, Ira talking about Iraq, of course. This photo of Trump awarding hero military dog is altered, New York Times reports. Uh-oh, you guys. Uh-oh, that one didn't go over so well. So we look a little stupid now since uh, everybody knew it was Photoshop. Let's look up the let's look up the guy who was actually photoshopped out of it. Surely he's he's outraged and riled up that he was photoshopped out of it and they humiliated him by putting a dog there. Oh wait, no, he hasn't even seen the picture of it. Let's show it to him then. Why don't we just show it to him then he'll probably he'll probably get a he'll get a little upset about it. In a phone interview Mr. McLuhan I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing his name, who had not seen the image before the reporter sent it to him, said he interpreted it as Mr. Trump recognizing the dog's heroism. He certainly was not offended and laughed when he compared the two images. After all, he said, Medal of Honor recipients accept on behalf of their entire teams, especially those that did not return from battle, and canines have long been part of war efforts. This recognizes the dog as part of that team of brave people. He was also concerned about the condition of the dog. What the... <laughs> Oh, New York Times. So you tried to get this guy to talk poorly about Trump, and then it turns out that he doesn't mind. He thinks it's funny, and he cares about the dog. What is going on in the offices of the New York Times? But this is serious stuff, people. So that didn't stop the opportunists from weighing in. I think I'll do the rest of this in Alex Jones because it's so ridiculous. Dr. Eugene Goo. <laughs> Now, he's the guy that's always managing to comment first on Trump tweets, as if that doesn't make you look like an insane person. He's tweeting first. He's out there. He's fighting the info war battle. He's getting alerts from Donald Trump's tweets. He's doing the thing that we all wish we could, which would be at the top of the tweet list, making fun of the president of the United States. Trump, bro, this is beyond gross. This is obviously photoshopped. It's not even a meme or something funny to laugh at because the subject material is plausible for many people who do not examine the picture carefully and notice the unnatural lines and silhouettes. It is funny. You're an idiot. 
<laughs> and even if someone did think a dog got an award, who cares? This is like this guy. They've they've done stories. On, I don't know if it was specifically this guy, but they've done news stories on the people who are the first people to respond to the Trump tweets. Doesn't matter because we all know Trump sleeps like three hours. People think he's on amphetamines or whatever. Uh, they get so he tweets at like four in the morning sometimes or five, six, whatever in the morning. First, also, I don't see why it's a problem that Trump doesn't sleep. Don't you want the person leading your country to just like never sleep? Isn't that a good thing? But anyways, he tweets at these odd hours and people are getting alerts on their phone and waking up in the middle of the night to respond to Trump tweets. And a lot of the times they st have stuff prepared as a draft, like generic things they can put in. It's really an insane, insane scenario to think that what you're doing is a good and interesting thing. And not an insane thing. I guess you could say it's if it's for popularity, I guess it's a good decision. But it still makes you look insane. The fun police are everywhere, you guys. Now, I went to a Halloween party, I'll mention, on Saturday. And the fun police were everywhere. People were stopping... Somebody was stopping a girl from opening a bottle with her teeth. Which I then said, let her share her gift. People were yelling at us for being loud. People within the house... We're trying to sleep during a party and not at their own house. It wasn't their own house. They came up from the basement and told us that we were being too loud at somebody else's house to the person who lived there. People were getting offended. I thought some white guys were about to faint. And you know me, if I can offend some soy boys, if I can trigger them, I most certainly will. Now... That didn't stop the, the fun police, like I said, from coming out at, after Trump. Here's uh, Here comes your best friend, Michael Avenatti. <laughs> that's CPL Avenatti, if you know what that stands for. That's I Stole Money from uh, the Porn Star, Michael Avenatti. That sleazy Hollywood lawyer, Michael Avenatti, has something to say even after all he's been through. Wow, is every photo associated with this mission photoshopped? First the Situation Room, now this. Maybe that's a plug for the website now, this, because maybe they're working with Avenatti. I don't know. Of course, he's talking about this photo, though, the situation room with Donald Trump after the, um, I don't know at what point it was, but it was during the raid on the ISIS leader. It's just a photo of them in a room. Who cares if it's actually watching the video? Do you, like, you think you're going to get them to release a video of when they actually watched it, if this is fake? It doesn't make any difference. Okay, guys, we're going to take a photo. Should we make it look like we're watching the video? It uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Like, who cares? And for the record, PolitiFact, uh, not that I trust these people to fact check, said that there's no evidence it was staged. Any fact checker is going to be uh, biased against Trump anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Because they have their duty to stop the deep state. <laughs> they have this thing now... Um where they justify their, their bias in their reporting, which is supposed to be journalism, but they can't help it. They can't help but put their bias in it. They call it accountability journalism now, where which basically is like, we can, we, can, we can give opinion in our reporting because we have to keep people accountable. It's not bias. It's not opinion. It's reporting with accountability because it's our duty. This is where we're at, people. This is journalism today accountability reporting it's your duty to give your opinion even if it's not fact because everyone you disagree with is evil but that's it happy halloween um they're moving forward with the next step of impeachment which is, of course just means they're going to ask people in public they're moving forward with the next step of impeachment which just brings means people asking questions in public and public hearings so it doesn't really mean anything it's all smoke and mirrors so I look forward to a nice Halloween um, ha infused hashtag involving impeachment. And remember, I wouldn't lie to you. And also celebrating Adele's weight loss isn't a compliment. It's fat phobia, you guys. I just thought that was funny. <laughs>